Man, it's nice out today. It's a slight breeze, decent temperature. Taking advantage of this thing today. So I'm headed out to the range for what? Product review. I know it's been a while since I've done one, so let's check it out. Well, as you can see, before I get started though, it's been a minute since I've been here in my in my shop here. I had to clean this mess up. Past couple windstorms that we had through here, uh, somehow got wind gusts through the doors here, you know, a little bit, just enough. But uh, yeah, it's a mess, man. So uh, let me get this thing cleaned up first. <laughs> Now that I got it somewhat semi-clean, at least clean enough to do this, let me open this up, man, and let's take a look at it. It's pretty neat. All right, let's cut this bad boy over here and see what we got. Tacting net. What is a tacti net? Well, a tacti net is it's a brass catcher for your AR. Okay. Great. I have one and I'm gonna do a quick comparison with the cheaper version that I have. So let's open this thing up. Let's set up here and this looks like a cage for it and of course the mounting bracket for it nice so of course as it said it shows here I will get this thing set up here and get it mounted and um, we will go from there. All right, so let's talk about this setup here. Now, the way this will mount, there's your mounting bracket right here, okay? Now, it has, if you can see, there's two loops that'll grab this bracket rail here. So I'm gonna have to unscrew this, put it in, it loops on the inside actually. Then it'll clamp. This is for adjustment, okay? And also lock it into place. This here grabs the top rail, your Picatinny rail. Okay, for the groove here, and it's adjustable, obviously opens, opens here, locks. They supply it with a little Allen wrench so it works for everything here, these two, and one. But the issue is, what I gotta change first is I'm gonna have to move my red dot, I'm gonna have to back it up just a little bit to give me a slot because grabbing the rail here won't give me enough adjustment to make sure that the net catches. So it catches the brass, okay? There's gotta be an adjustment here and the farthest the adjustment will go, if I put it out here, it won't make it. So if I set it here, it'll be fine for anywhere that you need to adjust, but I am, I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna lock it right here. That's perfect. All right. So first, as I said, I gotta move this back. All right, so you guys, bear with me. It's gonna be, it's gonna take me a minute here to readjust this. Let's get my tool. It should be small enough to get down in there. Open that up, yep. Get the torque screw there, the wrench. Oh. Take that, there we go. 
sit this down. And get my Allen wrench. That it was supplied with. Locking hole for the lock nut that goes in there for the nut, I should say. And then I'll be able to slide this thing out. Interesting, it clicks. Huh, that's interesting. It's a click position. So, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna drop that out. And, oops, turn it all the other way. Because these things are double double railed. Fat fingers, man, trying to mess with this thing. And trying to show you guys at the same time. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Bolts up out of the way. So I can slide it in here. There we go. Now flip it back over. Go back. in I like the design that these are these uh lock positions for the nuts there on here and put them back in so they don't spin around so it makes it fairly easy to handle okay let me put this one in here in a second but this system, how it's set up, as I said, I got a comparison. This one here, I bought this years ago, years ago. I can't even remember where, who I even purchased it from. But this is the same type of setup, similar. But when I put this on, this is a wider mouth open. So, sorry guys if you see me flinching around out here. Something like that while I'm swatting bugs or whatever. It's country living, man. Born and raised. Just something, uh, just being a country boy. But um, as you see, <laughs> the quality, the quality by far in this setup, way better than this thing. I didn't really pay anything for it. It's cheap. Made in the USA. Made in China. Or, as Trump would say, China. <laughs> so, guy, you make me laugh every time you used to say China. Funny. But it's the same, similar concept, except for this one here. As I said, it's cheap. So, this wraps around here Velcro. Okay. As I said, this is cheap. Now, this is the first time I've put this on here since I changed, since I modded my AR. I put this on here when it had the old quad rail that it came with. You guys have seen it. If you haven't seen my, my back burner project series, this is here. I do have two more, uh, I believe I have two more things I want to put on this, and then this is basically done. Pretty, yeah, it'll be pretty much done. I've got everything on it as I wanted, modded it and everything like that for my home protection as well as my recreational shooting. And as you can see, this is cheap, very cheap. This is the only thing that holds this thing in here. And believe me, this bounces around. And I even had to make some modifications to this because when I first bought it and put it on here under the old way, this thing here 
it actually wouldn't it wouldn't seal up on here good at all. It was dropping brass shells out of it, out of the out of the bottom and stuff when it was kicking it out. It would catch some, it dropped some, but I had to make some mods to it like this. I had to I bit this myself and hooked this around. As you can see. Bent this a little bit, had to bend this bracket around and everything like that just to make it work. Of course, like I said, it's got a zip bottom catch as well as this. But this is very, very cheap. And no, I did not spend any any money for this. Just, I, I think I probably spent maybe 15 bucks for this thing. I think. Somewhere in there. It's 15, somewhere. It's 15, 20 bucks. Didn't cost anything. Like I said, cheap made. So, let's get back to this project. So, I didn't torque this thing down yet. I just snugged it a little bit. But now, I'm going to place this in. And and I got a bee buzzing around me in here too. Big son of a bitch too. But anyway, I am going to mount this, get this set, have it, and I'll adjust this on here. Try to bring it so you guys can see because I know it's out of frame a little bit. But I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to put this back in, and. Uh, and get this lined up here so this lining this up I'm gonna see how this is gonna work because if I want to take this thing off I want to know how easy it is to take take off unbolt it and slide it out or basically unhook it if I can so let's give it a shot let's see. Of course, everything is guided. It is guided in here. So, and this brass catcher, man, as you guys know, when you're out here on the range or anything like that, or any range, you're out here shooting, picking up this brass. Because if you reload, which I I do reload, but I haven't reloaded in quite some time. But that's uh, basically what it encompasses there. So, like I said, it's just to keep them picking up that brass off the floor. Okay, so I got it back in, got it started. Now the question is, will it slide? And I'm gonna show you how the net actually hooks onto the bracket. It's pretty nice, pretty slick. Let's see, can I get this to slide? not then it's gonna be it's gonna be one of these deals to where I'm gonna have to unhook it and see and like I know it's not gonna hook over to Picatinny because the bolt is not long enough so but what's nice so it does as I said it clicks and adjusts so when it clicks and adjusts it'll move in and out for the for as far as the snug fit of how you want which is pretty nice but yet yeah, just like any Picatinny though it's gonna be it's gonna have to set up so this is where I need my uh, my mount, my AR mount for this. So trying to do it on this table here. This is going to be an issue. So let me get this thing mounted and then finish setting the rest of this up. All right, check this out. This is cool. I just figured this out, putting this thing together here. That, when I said that the adjustment clicks in and out, it also clicks all the way off. I figured that out to where this mount piece and everything can mount and you can leave it. So you can leave it on here for this net. So it's not a whole process or procedure to take this thing on and off every single time you want to use it or not. This can be an attachment left right here. Now what I did is I put it right here on the last Picatinny uh, hole here, I believe. But let me double check this. And this thing is precise. Precise, precise fit. So I believe I did put it in the last one. Yep. So the last one off top of the rail in the upper here, because it's solid through here. This one, as I said, this one here, this will sit it out too far. So put it in here. The 
mount, the AR mount, didn't bring it. So, so with that being said, inside here, as I said, it slides and adjusts in and out so you can take it off and go. Now, this deal, how does it wrap around this bracket? Pretty nice idea. These are Velcro, where it'll be a hook and loop with the Velcro. So, slide it in. We'll go to the bottom rail. And maybe I'll just start with the top one to get it in here. And then just slide it in. I'm going to leave a Velcro at the top, and it's also on the sides as well. So it's top and all four points. So, I'll loop it in. in there like that, roll it through to each point, push it through, yep. so that'll loop there, the top one, and we'll just do the sides, same deal, through, it's a good thing this is when you put it on here, you don't have to take it off. down out of the way so I can get the finish of the that is. I'll torque this down a little bit more. And from there, look at that. And that is on. There we go. Yep. Slide this down a little bit for a better fit, a better adjustment. It. Definitely better quality for sure. Same deal, bottom zipper, drop the brass, which works good. Close it up. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some shots here in bench rest position right here and test it out here, and then I'm gonna take some out here moving around in the field too. See how it works too, moving around. All right, so as I said here, I'm gonna run this cheap one here real quick, give you an idea. As I said, I modified this thing here. It does Velcro wrap around. And uh, like I said, I know it was cheap. I, I swear, I don't think I bought, spent over 20 bucks for this thing. And uh, as I said, the quality is pretty cheap. It works, but it's still narrow. And um, it's, it's, it is what it is, all right? So we'll pop off a few shots here with it just to give you an idea of uh, how this thing uh, how this thing works, simple. And uh, then I'll switch over to the new one. So, so if we can kick it off safe here. There we go, let's see. that brass at. Where is it? Oh, see, still stuck up in here. See? Now I'm sure as it does it more it does, the more shots that I rang in here, they fall, but I did have this issue. It's been so long since I used this thing. That was one of the issues that I did have with it as far as the shells binding up here in this opening and not kicking open enough to fall down here out of the way. That's why before I modded it and bit this thing, it was falling out and kicking out. It was, it was a hot mess, so we pop one more shot off here. Like I said, there's three shots there for it. So let me switch over to the new deal here, the new hotness. All right, 
Now we switch over to the new hotness. As I said, what's nice is that first, I had to set my red dot back at say one notch, one or two notches back to give this room to slide in. Because uh, as I said, I put it on the last, the last knock here on the upper. So what's nice about this, as I said, it clicks in, it slides in, nice and neat. Wide open ejection port, everything is wide open. So, first time shooting this thing, let's check it out and see how it works here. So, put this in. Look at that. All three shots dropped in, nothing hung up on the inside. Nice wide open port, dropped right in, right out of place. Nothing in here to cause a jam any type of malfunction or whatever you might have on the outside on the injection portion of this thing. Perfect. Falls in just like it should. So now let's run out here and uh, let me walk around with it here with a few more shots here and uh, see what it does. All right, same deal. I'm going to stand out here a little bit. Try to move a little bit. I don't have a camera, man. So I can only move so much on this. But what I'm trying to do is give you another angle on this while I uh, kind of move just a little bit with the uh, with this uh, this this cheap thing here, you know, just a few shots off of this, really. So now kick this into safety. You guys probably can't see it. I'm going to try to see if we can get it in on the camera. Let me show you. If I can get it close enough. You see those shells? Look at the casings right there. Right there. Three of them. Only one of them dropped all the way down to the pouch. Three casings still hung up. Still hung up. I'm sitting there. So, tell you what. Let me drop this bad boy out of here. Drop this leg. There's a live round in here. I don't want to eject it down in this bag though, but like I said, I just dropped them and they just shifted down in there, shaking this thing around. So, like I said, man, this, this, I don't like it. And I never liked it. Even when I, when I bought it and tried it out, I didn't really care for it. One reason why I stopped using it. So let me throw on the other one real quick. All right. As I burn through this video here as much as trying to go as fast as I can, not trying to drag it out too long. But the new hotness, as it shows, slide right on. Boom, kicks right on. Let's drop this mag back in here. Give it a tug, going hot. Let's see how this one works out. So, oh man. Yeah, you can move around a little bit. A little bit with this. I didn't move much because, like I said, I can't get too far away from the camera to show you because I don't have the camera guy to follow me around. But every one of those shots, drop it back on safe. As you see, every one of them, nothing jammed, nothing hung up. Wide open. Nothing hung up in there. This wide open cage. This cage makes a world of difference, man, for this. This is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Tack the net. Definitely, definitely look into this. I believe just this setup here, it was a quick setup they sent me out. I think this was $40, I think it was $39. Don't quote me on this, but I think it was right around there. Something in that range. So it's really not expensive or a simple setup. They've got deals going on with them if you buy two or whatever, something like that, and they got some extra stuff. I just wanted a simple one right here. For me, it was worked out perfectly fine. So. With this, uh, with this being said, let me uh, let me get you another angle on this thing here, real quick. All of them dropped. Everyone, nothing hung up. Beautiful, beautiful. Check into it, guys. Tactinet. I'll put a link to their website. I don't have an affiliate link to them yet. As of right now, don't know if they have an affiliate program. I checked out to them. I don't think they'd have one going on right now, but 
I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go get this if you haven't seen it advertised already. Pick yourself up one of these for your AR, man. You do a lot of banging out here instead of picking up this brass because believe me, there's a whole lot of AR brass on this ground and other calibers brass too on this ground here on my range. It's a crap ton. There's no way I'm going picking all this stuff up through this grass. It's not going to happen. So anyway, guys, if you like the video, man, I appreciate it if you like, share, subscribe. Check me out in the next one here. Tech the net. Go out, get some practice, gentlemen. Get some practice, ladies. Serious. Get yourself one of these to defend yourself, okay? Home protection, self-defense. That's what it's about for us law-abiding citizens. Stop listening to gun-grabbing politicians who know nothing about firearms, guys, okay? Get you some protection, all right? I'll talk to you on the next one. And until then, you are responsible for your own safety. So get more training. See you next time.